Hey everyone, today's the day. I got my Tip Top Audio Happy Ending Kit and I have my Mutable Instruments Plat ready to go. We're gonna open these up. I haven't even put them together or anything. And this will be the first module I ever put together and I'm recording it and putting it out to you. If you haven't watched the previous video, I'll put a link up there somewhere um, where I talk about the whole plan for this build. Just to quickly review it with each individual module, I'm planning it out to, uh, with the intention of expanding on the Moog Sound Studio. The reason I'm starting with Platts is because I've wanted an extra oscillator a handful of times with the Mother 32. So I'm really excited to just get this thing hooked up and see if I can make it make some sounds and make it work, hopefully without breaking anything. And we'll go from there. So as I mentioned in the previous video, one of the reasons I got the this kit was because it was the cheapest and most accessible option out there. So I chose the black one. I actually, it was funny, I, I thought I had chose the silver one. And when it came, I was like, what? It's the black one. And then I looked at my order confirmation. And in fact, I had chosen the black one, but that's okay. I think I would have preferred the silver in retrospect, but black's cool too. We have the Zeus power supply. We have a wall wart. One of the other reasons I chose this one, just to rehash what I said in the last video, when I looked up the parts, like just for these Z-Rails, uh, it was $40 or so, and the, uh, the power supply was $85. Um, so it wasn't that much more just to get this extra stuff. And if I ever wanna build a, a larger rack, I can mount it in. At the time of the video, uh, this was on sale for, for even cheaper than if you were to were to buy them separately. So unfortunately when I purchased it, it was uh, $130. So with the rails, one side of them is raised to hold the modules in their place. And you have to, when you're putting it together, just make sure that those are on the top and the bottom. And in the inside where the screws go in, that silver strip, slides in and out. Overall, this was pretty easy to put together. I think it took me about 10 minutes total. Plats. Got little fun toys. I was very happy with the, quality, the build quality. It's everything that I was expecting. I mean, this build quality is just, you pull it out and it's like, you know that it's well done. It's just, it's just perfect. There's no other way to describe it. Just top tier craftsmanship. Match the red stripe up with the red stripe. The first module of my first build is complete. All right, this is the moment of truth. I've got everything hooked up and I'm gonna turn it on. I'm actually kind of nervous, hoping nothing gets fried. And that's positive. We see a green light. <laughs> I know some of you at home are probably thinking, oh my God, this guy's crazy, but that was a big deal for me. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Korg SQ64 as a sequencer. As I plug this in, I mean, it should give a sound because the gate's just sort of open. And there it is. We officially have liftoff. All right, so what I got going on now is I'm sending out of the Korg, uh, uh, the pitch is going into volts per octave and the green wire is gate going into the trigger. So, I'm, brand, I'm still pretty new to the, to the SQ64, but I think if I go, so now if we plug it in, it's where the envelope isn't just open. And there it is, there's that sound. It sounds awesome. 
That is fantastic. All right, let's see if I can play a sequence with it. dive in and really understand what each of these are. Um, I can only remember off the top of my head that the bottom one is vowel sounds. Oh, that's cool. Th oh, these are like chords. <laughs> yeah, there's some vowel sounds. <laughs> Alright, and so next up, in this mode is all the percussion sounds, so let's hear what that sounds like. This was part of the reason why I wanted to buy this, because, I mean, it just has so much flexibility. So, even if I decide to go with, like, analog oscillators, I'll still get some use out of this. Is that each of these of uh, the, the timber and the morph? I mean, we could I could set those to modulate. It, it has its own attenuator. So you know, I can plug those into like an LFO. Like for this, it sounded great when I was just doing it by hand. You know, so once I have the LFO set up, I can route that into here and have this be kind of going the whole time. Oh, it just sounds so good. So there you have it. Installed the first module ever. It's official. I now have my own modular synth. It's kind of a kind of bare at the moment but still really, really super cool. I've already got it to make some pretty cool sounds. Pretty impressed with the plats. It's ex everything that I was expecting. I'm super excited. The next video is going to be hooking it up to the mother and seeing what I can make out of that with two oscillators. So I'm super psyched. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Please check out the previous video if you want to see what my thought process was behind the build. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you think, and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, plats. <laughs>